हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द एक्सरसाइज नंबर 8.2 पॉइंट टू एंड इट इज ऑल्सो अंडर द क्वाडिलेटरल एंड बेस्ड ऑन द मिड पॉइंट थियोरम फर्स्ट देर आर सेवन क्वेश्चन इन दिस एक्सरसाइज 8.2 पॉइंट टू इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन it is given that a quadrilateral a quadrilateral is given here in this way a quadrilateral a b c d a b c d in which p p q q R and S are the midpoint. A B C D is a quadrilateral in which P Q R S are midpoints of the side A B B C C D and D A respectively. A C is a diagonal. A C is its diagonal. Diagonal joining the midpoints of the P Q. P Q Q R and R S. A another type of quadrilateral is for P Q R S. We have to prove that P Q R S is also a parallelogram. A parallelogram. And question number one is S R parallel to A C. S R parallel to A C and S R half of A C. P Q equal to P Q equal to S R and in the third number P Q R S is a parallelogram. At first, we will write given. What is given? Given <coughs> a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral A B C D. in which in which p q r s r meet meet point meet point of a b a b b c c d and d a we have to prove to prove to prove to prove number 1 sr sr parallel ac ac and sr equal to half ac number 2 question pq equal to sr number third number third pq r s is a parallelogram we have to prove here it is given that P Q is a midpoint of the side A B and B C, and S and R are the midpoint of A D and D C or C D. Just we have to prove prove using the midpoint theorem. Earlier I have written it is based on the midpoint theorem. Proof. At first we will take in the triangle in. triangle abc in triangle abc because we have used proved in the previous class mid point theorem is applicable in the triangle therefore first we have to take the triangle abc in triangle that's why i have written in triangle abc we will write p and q q r mid mid point mid point of of ab ab and bc 
BC. Therefore, PQ PQ is a parallel to AC and and PQ PQ equal to half AC. From where we have written this result using midpoint theorem. Using midpoint point theorem. Midpoint theorem from the midpoint theorem. Again in triangle. Again. Again in triangle ACD. A C D A C D S and R R mid mid point points mid points of side A D A D and C D therefore S R parallel AC and and SR equal to half AC this is also using the midpoint from midpoint 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 theorem from midpoint theorem this is equation number one equation and this you can write second from one and two first we have proved sr sr is the one number has been proved from first and second from first and second second pq pq equal to sr sr from first and second here pq is half of ac here sr is half of ac therefore lhs equal to rhs is equal therefore lhs will be also equal third number third number since since opposite opposite sides sides of a quadrilateral 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 pqrs pqrs r r equal and parallel parallel therefore therefore P therefore P Q R S P Q R S is a parallelogram. Already I have uh, given the properties of the parallelogram. If you are getting opposite side equal and a parallel of any pair, then you can declare without any problem that will be the parallelogram. Now, after this sum, I will take another sum, question number 3. In the question number 3 is related to the rectangle. Related to the rectangle. Question number 2nd. Question number second. See. Question number second is in this way. <coughs> ABCD is a rectangle. ABCD is a rectangle. A, B, C, 
डी इज ए रेक्टेंगल इन विच पी क्यू आर एस इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए बी सी पी पी क्यू आर एंड एस पी क्यू आर एस ज्वाइनिंग द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द साइड्स पी क्यू क्यू आर एस आर एंड एस पी ए अनदर क्वाइट लेटल इज ए फॉर्म पी क्यू आर एस वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट पी क्यू आर एस इज ए रोमबस फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ज्वाइन द डायगनल ए सी डायगनल ए सी इज ए ज्वाइंट इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन लेटर ऑन आई विल ज्वाइन बी डी ऑल्सो गिव हिम गिव हिम ए रेक्टेंगल रेक्टेंगल ए बी सी डी ए बी सी डी इज ए रेक्टेंगल इन विच इन विच इन विच पी क्यू आर एंड एस पी क्यू आर एस आर आर मिड मिड पॉइंट मिड पॉइंट ऑफ साइड ए बी ए बी बी सी सी डी एंड डी ए डी ए वी हैव टू प्रूफ टू प्रूफ टू प्रूफ टू प्रूफ पी क्यू आर एस P Q R S is a rhombus. Rhombus. We already know that in the earlier classes, in the second class, I have explained about the rhombus. What are the properties of rhombus? In the rhombus, all sides are equal and uh, diagonals. are not equal and they bisect each other but at a right angle at a 90 degree to proof pqrs is a rhombus proof proof in triangle in triangle a b c a b c p and q r mid point mid points mid points of side a b and b c therefore therefore is therefore pq parallel ac and pq equal to half ac using midpoint theorem from mid midpoint midpoint theorem we can write again by joining the diagonal oh. <clears throat> again and in triangle acd acd or you can write similarly also acd s and r r mid point mid point mid points of side side ad ad and cd 
therefore we can conclude that s r parallel <coughs> ac and s r equal to half ac this is also from the midpoint theorem from mid midpoint theorem midpoint theorem on joining the diagonal bd again bd on joining diagonal bd bd <coughs> sp on joining diagonal bd similarly similarly s p parallel bd sp half bd <coughs> from the midpoint from the midpoint theorem and again uh, rq 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 parallel bd and rq half of the bd since 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 ac equal to bd because we know that bd because because diagonal diagonal of a rectangle diagonal of a rectangle r equal so we can conclude that all sides since pq equal to sr and this is also parallel just i have prove this parallel and equal to this and this is also this this is also parallel to this and equal to this we have compare all these sides with the ac and bd but ac and bd are equal therefore we can conclude that since here i have written since ac equal to bd because the diagonal of the rectangle are equal therefore therefore <coughs> pq pq equal to r pq equal to pq equal to qr qr equal to r s r s r s equal to sp sp all sides are equal and parallel therefore 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 p q r s is a parallelogram proved opposite sides are equal and parallel therefore we can conclude that p q r s is a parallelogram after that i will take the question number 5 in the question number 5 question number 5 in a parallelogram a parallelogram is given a b c d a b c d is a parallelogram a 
ए बी सी डी इज ए पैरोलोग्राम ए बी सी डी ए बी सी डी इज ए पैरोलोग्राम इन विच अपोजिट साइड्स आर पैरल अपोजिट साइड्स आर पैरल एंड इक्वल दिस पैरल टू दिस एंड दिस इक्वल टू दिस इन द पैरलोग्राम अपोजिट साइड्स आर इक्वल E and F are the midpoints of the A, B and C, D. E here a point E. E and F is a point. F is a point on the side A, B and C, D are the midpoint. Means E is the midpoint of A, B and C, D is uh, E, F is the midpoint of the C, D. Means D, F equal to F, C, A, E equal to E, B. And diagonal B, D. Diagonal BD is also joined from the A to F. A to F is joined. AF is joined. AF is joined, and CE is also joined. CE is also joined. Then we have to show that the line AF and EC. A F and C E trisect the B D. B D is a trisected by A F and C E. This point name is a P U P and this is a Q. Given. Given a parallelogram. Parallelogram A B C. D in which in which E and F are meet point of midpoint of A B and C D. A, B, and C, D. Next, <clears throat> we have to prove to prove to prove A, F, A, F, and C, E trisect tri. Sect, trisect, trisect, DD means that is that is P DP D DP equal to P PQ equal to Q D. This is required to proof means all the three parts are equal proof proof <coughs> since since a b c d is a parallelogram therefore therefore c d equal to c d equal to a b and c d half of c d equal to half of a b why e and f F and E are midpoint. Mid 
point that's why you can write if there is a midpoint then you can write half of them and cd is also parallel cd is also parallel to ab being a parallelogram therefore we can conclude that since opposite side are equal and parallel therefore a e c f this parallel to this and this equal to this part therefore fc cf equal to ae ae and cf equal to ae cf parallel ae this implies that ae ae cf is a parallelogram parallelogram therefore therefore af therefore af parallel parallel ec af parallel ec now aecf becomes a parallelogram now in triangle now in triangle d qc now now in triangle d q c d q c p q sorry p f p f parallel parallel q c q c and and f is mid point therefore by the converse converse of mid point theorem theorem we can say that p is also mid point p is also mid point p is also mid point therefore this implies that dp 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 equal to p q p q again we are coming this side here again in triangle bc b p a b c in again again in triangle a b p a b p a q a p parallel a p parallel e q e q and e is the midpoint e is the mid midpoint e is the midpoint midpoint by the converse converse of mid point theorem q is q is mid point of also mid point of dq dq and q is the mid point of bp b p therefore dp bq b 
क्यू इक्वल टू पी पी क्यू दिस इज द सेकेंड रिजल्ट दिस इज द सेकेंड रिजल्ट फ्रॉम वन एंड टू फ्रॉम वन एंड टू वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट फ्रॉम वन एंड टू फ्रॉम वन एंड टू वी कैन कंक्लूड कंक्लूड दैट दैट बी क्यू बी क्यू इक्वल टू क्यू पी क्यू पी इक्वल टू इक्वल टू पी डी प्रूफ मीन्स दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड मीन्स ट्राइसेक्ट इफ ऑल द थ्री पार्ट्स आर इक्वल देन वी कैन से दैट इट इज ए ट्राइसेक्ट मीन्स ए एफ एंड सी एफ ट्राइसेक्ट थैंक यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल इंटर्ड इन टू द एरियाज ऑफ द पैरोलोग्राम एंड ट्रेंगल